All right, this is going to be like a uh, end of December update. And uh, this is what my Jeep turned into. I didn't like to see it go, but I live in California. And when things don't smog, it becomes a real big pain. And all that smoke in the previous video showed that the Jeep would not smog. So a guy came along who wanted a project and he had this and wasn't using it. And so I traded him for it. And then it promptly cost me money. These are pretty much the only bad things. And it has a couple of problems. <coughs> is all. I'm going to fire it up. Okay, now it's shut up, so that's easier. Okay, cool. So, the couple problems it has, obviously, high mileage, that's not a big deal. It still maintains good oil pressure. When the uh, resistor is out and the fuel gauge, so the fuel gauge works, but it bounces. And the other problem is, let me see if I can get it going. When you use the signal and you let it off, well, it's not doing it right now. But normally what happens is it stays on. So you're driving around, click, 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 and there's no indicator going or anything. It's just the sound. So I have purchased a new sender as well as the turn signal to fix those. And something that's pretty common in these trucks, or anything with the Vortec 5700, is... The spider injectors is fairly common for this motor. It will develop an intermittent misfire and then it'll just go full blown misfire. And that is something, one of your injectors, usually back here, I think it's like six or eight, might be five or seven. that uh, ends up misfiring and dying, which sucks. Because then, you have a couple options. One, you replace a injector for, I think it's 50 or 60 bucks, or you spend 240 and you get all eight new injectors and it changes it to multi-port fuel injection from the single point. And that's the route I went, and I did it all in a parking lot because I live in an apartment complex now and it went good. I don't have any engine codes. And it passes smog. So that's, that's, that's real awesome. No, I put a new battery in it and that kind of stuff and I just kinda, you know, there's things here and there. But it's been a pretty good vehicle. Um, I think I showed you guys on the intro. I did upgrade to uh, 285. 7516s, they're uh, pretty much 33s, 11.5 wide, it's pretty good. And it has a, a dual uh, Flowmaster exhaust, which you can see one. And then the other. So it's a pretty good vehicle, I've taken it off-road when it had crappy ball tires on it, and it did pretty good. It's not not what a CJ is, by, all, by any means, but, you know, it's, uh, It's also a lot heavier than a CJ, almost about double, and it's uh, you know it's also got a lot more creature comforts as you know back seats and heaters and <coughs> no rain on you when you drive. But I do miss the old CJ, but you know, and uh, you get harassed at your apartment complex that it's going to be towed if you don't get it licensed because they change the rules on you. You kind of have to move. That's what I did. I moved to this. So, typically, like to uh, say when you get a used car, I think, well, I read it off the internet, so everyone knows this, but 
you know, there's three things wrong, you walk away, but the Jeep had a lot more than three, and this thing has uh, three, I guess you could say, major issues. The AC needs a new uh, compressor, and it needs a new uh, condenser or something like that, I, I forget. And then, obviously, the, the fuel gauge and then the, the turn signal. So, you know, it hasn't been without problems, but the Jeep went to a good home. So that's good, and I I now have the ability to tow trailers and things because my little four-cylinder Tacoma does not work very well. So oh, of course, <laughs> push button four by four. I would, you know, obviously rather had the the floor option, but nope. But it works. It has a brand new transfer case, so everything works good on that. And. That's pretty much it. I'll give you one more overview, and I will pull it. See, there are like six minutes. It's gonna be a long time to upload. All right, that's it. Looks good. I've been happy with it, and it's been trustworthy. Oh, it's a Z82 package, tow package, but they didn't offer Z71s in this year. But it has the G80 locker. 350 Chevy obviously and it has all the skid plates and all the stuff that comes with the Z71 so these people just took it from from the factory and kind of made it into a Z71 all the while retaining the Z82 package which is a tow package which is pretty nice so it's kind of like the cream of the crop of 1997 and it's gonna be a pretty good Jeep replacement all right until next time, bye.